Welcome to the Global Gadabout, a frugal introvert's guide to exploring the world further, longer, and cheaper. Today, I want to talk about airline regulations and make sure you know your rights when it comes to delayed flights in the US. I've developed a useful flowchart to help you figure out exactly what you are entitled to depending on your specific situation and the length of your delay. You can find this infographic as well as a lot more important information on laws and common practices in my blog post on US and European airline regulations, which I'll link in the description. So let's start at the beginning. Is your flight delayed? No? Great, then have a nice trip and save this for future reference. Yes? You've come to the right place. Now, when the delay was announced, were you on the plane yet? If not, is the delay what you would consider substantial? There's a little uncertainty in the wording of this law, but you could probably argue a substantial delay being a couple of hours or more. If it's less than two hours, Unfortunately, you probably don't have a case and the airline does not owe you anything. Sorry. If you are delayed substantially and can successfully argue this, you have the right to be rerouted or receive a full refund. If you are already on the plane when a delay is announced, there are several comforts you are entitled to. The first point is, are the bathrooms available for use? If not, they legally must be, and you have the right to use them. Now, have you been delayed more than 30 minutes? If not, sorry, you just have to wait. If so, the airline must give you an update on your timing. They must legally update you every 30 minutes. Have you been delayed on the plane for more than two hours? No, keep waiting, sorry. Yes? Have you been offered food and water? You have the right to a free drink and snack after a two-hour delay on the tarmac. Have you been delayed more than three hours? If not, sorry, enjoy that snack and keep waiting. If you have, is the flight international? No? You have the right to get off a domestic flight delayed more than three hours on the tarmac. If the flight is international, have you been delayed more than four hours? If not, hang in there. If so, you have the right to get off an international flight delayed more than four hours on the tarmac. Nobody should have to sit in a hot, crowded plane waiting on the tarmac for hours on end. Use this chart to figure out when you can demand your legal right to restrooms, food and water, and to get yourself off that plane. Thanks for listening. Check out my blog, theglobalgadabout.com, for a more in-depth post on this topic, including your rights to compensation if you are bumped from a flight in the U.S. or in Europe, as well as more great tips and tales. You can sign up for my newsletter and get my free solo travel prep guide. The Global Gadabout has a podcast, YouTube channel, Facebook page, and Pinterest boards. Links are in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to be sure you don't miss any new content. Join me again next time for more fabulous solo budget travel tips from the Global Gadabout. <laughs>